hello friends hope you're doing well this is my new video tutorial on the table view so in this video tutorial we will see how to add the checkbox inside the table view as you can see on my screen i have added the checkbox in the new column inside the table view so i'm going to explain the same thing to you and i will explain step by step so just watch it carefully so let's get started with the netbeans so here in the NetBeans, I have this project. So the same project I have used in my previous example. You can uh, watch the previous video. I have given the link inside the description box. So you can go through that video as well and come back here and you can continue with this video. So you will get a good, good understanding on the whole concept. It's very easy. So just watch it carefully. This is the table view example. This is my uh, first file which has a start method and the fxml as I, I have told you in my previous example as well. And now come here in the fxml document controller where we have created the table columns and then we have added inside the table view. After that we have created the observable list and we have prepared the data with the help of this person class. So person class which is uh, just like uh, the data model for the table view so we will populate the data with the help of this person class and then we have uh, connected the table column with the property so by using this set cell value factory method and finally we have added the data inside the table view so this was the whole thing that I have described in my previous video so we will continue with this now we'll do the small changes so let's start so uh, I will create a new column I'm going to give a name select column is equal to new table column and we have to pass a string which is going to be a name of uh, table column so the table column is created now in the second step we have to add this table column inside the table view so it's just simple okay now finally uh, we have nothing to do with this observable list okay it will be as it is this is the these are the steps for populating the data inside the table view so we have used this person class and this person class let me show you this person class okay but we have to do a small change here as well because uh, this person class is displaying uh, inside the table view so displaying the data so we have to display the checkbox so we have to do a small change like I will get one more property and will do a get and set method inside this class so just creating checkbox reference giving a name select and now here in the constructor as well so doing a small creating the object of checkbox now we need to add a get and set for the same So this is the get method now we have to add the set method
okay now we have done so we have created a new property and we have added this line inside the constructor to initializing this reference with the new checkbox object okay and now here we have you here we have created these two get and set method okay now come back inside the fxml document controller dot java file so now uh, now we have added one column so we have to connect this column with the property only then we will display the checkbox on the screen so now just copy the name of this table column and paste it here and just copy all these lines and do the same and the last thing we have to change this is the property name so go inside the person class and now we'll copy this property name and come back here and I will paste it here so the property is connected with the column now and we have a final step we setting the data inside the table view and now it's done now we'll do a clean build of whole project and then we'll execute it and we'll see the output it will take few seconds to complete the build I think it's done okay now it's turn to run this file okay now see here on my screen the select column is added and we have the checkbox inside the table view so the checkbox is added inside the cell perfectly now we'll do check uncheck we'll see is it working or not yes it is working perfectly as expected so guys it was a simple example and it's easy uh, still you have any doubts so please comment below i will try to reply as soon as possible also i will share the code of this example as well so you can download and just uh, import inside your netbeans id so you can run this example on your machine that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching